Uh, in this video lecture, I will teach you about the CSS styles uh, or, or including styles uh, in CSS. So there are basic three uh, types of styles or three ways of three ways of including styles, CSS styles. The first is uh, inline style. So inline means you write your style and uh, format your paragraph, headings, button, etc. Mm, inside the line. So you can write your style directly in line on each element. But this is not a good idea most of the time. And uh, the reason is that, uh, for example, uh, my page can include a lot of paragraphs a lot of headings buttons so uh, if you want to include inline styles so you have to format uh, each element um, all the times suppose i have for example five buttons and i want to um, color it red for example or uh, pink for example so I will repeat the style uh, I will make the color pink for for each button yeah, so I will include uh, the button color um, inside uh, the line for each button so uh, repetition occurs and that is not a good approach then we have style element so you can write your style inside of the style element. Uh, this is easy, but it makes it impossible to share styles between document. So you include the style element, uh, style, you write the style opening tag and then closing tag in uh, inside the, your head uh, and uh, make your uh, different headings and different buttons color there but the problem is that the advantage is that you don't have to repeat your button color like in inline style but the problem is that you cannot share this style for different pages so obviously your website can con contain uh, several pages but you cannot then link to that uh, other pages <coughs> one we have another uh, type that is external style sheet so write your style in a css file dot css file so you create your uh, another file with the extension dot css and then including um, the, the and then include the using uh, link element in the head of your html so this means dot uh, css file uh, you create and then from any web page you can uh, refer that css file so if you refer that and that file contain different uh, element styles formatting so that will be implemented so the best approach is to include external style sheet uh, rather than inline style and style element uh, this is external uh, style sheet uh, example so inside your head uh, you write your link so inside link element you write uh, rel is equal to style sheet so this is basically the style sheet this is for the style sheet and you give reference of your my style dot css so my style is a uh, file name so you can write uh, uh, any name here so uh, let's start practice all of the style so you will better understand uh, now i start uh, css styles using uh, html so i have created the html page uh, this is the main page which is empty uh, this is html opening and closing tag this is uh, head inside it is a title so i write intro to css styles uh, so inside title i wrote this now i start my 
HTML elements. So first I include, for example, heading. So this is CSS. Uh, tiles writing for example and uh, I close this h2 element and I then start my paragraph hello to the world of CSS styles for example and then I close this key for example this is the basic HTML uh, program so this is uh, CSS style writing hello to the world of CSS style so I now uh, write the CSS style and we will uh, color this paragraph and heading for example i want to color this heading and paragraph so there are three ways as i stated so one by one i apply so first of all i apply the inline approach so inside this element tag i write style is equal to um, so i want to change the color color uh, red and I also repeat this in line style but with different color for example color uh, green so if I uh, so this is this one is changed this one is not changed so uh, style is equal to color uh, green I make it blue so this one is blue and this one is red so if I include a form with buttons text fields and I have to form more, format that so formatting does not only include the color uh, but uh, we have to adjust the width the length and literally a padding margin etc so in inline style we will have to write in a different style inside this element tag so this one uh, is dif difficult uh, as page can include a lot of uh, elements so writing become uh, difficult so i come to the second approach which is to um, include uh, the style element uh, inside the head so i write the style so i will include the style element opening and then this is style closing for example and I write the H2 uh, I write H2 as the color of H2 I want to make the color of H2 as a, uh, this one red and uh, inside uh, style I want to make the color of uh, so I will copy it and I write P and will make the color blue and I will delete this in line style so uh, this is H2 this is P this is inside the style element so if I refresh so the same result so what is the advantage of this advantage of this is that if I want to include one more P for example 
another style tried okay so this will be also blue and if i include another heading h2 if i write hello example anything you can write so you can see both h2 color is red and uh, paragraph color is blue but if i write some more elements like h1 h3 so that will be show, shown black so uh, if i does not apply this style element and rather i apply the inline so for inside each um, element i will repeat this code so this was second approach but the disadvantage is that this cannot be uh, referred or used or uh, linked to other web pages so i have to um, cut it from here uh, and we'll go to create another css page for example i uh, create new page and save it with the name for example app.css any name you can uh, set for it and copy it so i simply copied it but nothing will happen it's again black why although the colors are changed using app.css remember that you must use .css extension because now we are in uh, css so what what should i do now i will uh, make a link here so i will write uh, <coughs> link relate is equal to style sheet style sheet uh, and then h reference is equal to app dot css so i will refresh now the browser you can see now the styles are again changed the headings are red and the um, paragraphs are blue so if uh, i don't change the paragraph uh, only change the headings so i will save it just and if i refresh so this one is now black so this one is more uh, better another advantage of uh, this type is that uh, uh, we we don't have to write too much in our main page so i just will mention the link and in particular um, specific css page i can write as much as i can uh, right uh, so this was all about the css styles and different ways of writing uh, styles formatting so thank you so much for watching this video thank you so much